the coffee that I need in the Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. So this is actually me from the future. I was filming this part of the video and then I realised I haven't actually done an intro, so I thought I would intro the video here while I'm in a cosy setup. Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing well. So today I thought I would film a little evening routine that I do in the cold months, so the autumn winter. Um, this is just like a standard evening in my life. Every day is completely different for me, but like a classic at home evening this is what it looks like so i thought i'd take you guys along with me spend an evening together get yourself a cup of tea a hot chocolate whatever you fancy to be honest a glass of wine if you like to drink alcohol i'm more of a hot chocolate kind of girl but get a drink of your choice some snacks get cozy on the sofa or in your bed or even in the bath and spend the evening with me girly pie should we make some dinner together because i'm absolutely starving today don't know what's going on with me at the minute but like i'm just hungry all the time i say at the minute my whole life I've always just been hungry to be honest. Of course for dinner we've got the one, the only, Hello Fresh. This has been an absolute godsend lifesaver since we moved out. It has just been oh, the best thing ever. It is so convenient. So I'm sure you guys know but Hello Fresh is a subscription service. Your meals get delivered straight to your front door. HelloFresh is just everything you need to take the stress out of cooking. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best at cooking, but HelloFresh makes it so much easier for me. It saves you time, it reduces food waste, it gives you so many new ideas that like you wouldn't have thought of before. Honestly, it inspires me so much with my meals. Thought I could treat me and Tom tonight to a little bit of steak. Name a more cozy like autumn dinner. It's Thursday night, it's nearly the weekend. We're gonna get cozy and eat steak with peppercorn sauce and I cannot wait. Another thing about HelloFresh that I love is the massive wide variety of like different styles of food, like really quick, simple 20 minute meals. Then you've got your more premium luxury like steaks. A Couple of other meals that we picked up is the Creamy King Prawn and Tarragon Tagli Italy. I'm sorry. How delicious does that one look? And that will only take 25 minutes. So if you want something quick and easy after work, that's a good one to go for. Last night we had the ultimate bacon mac and cheese and Honestly, it was divine. I've never tasted anything like it in my life. So the meal card comes with the number on it. So as you can see, this one has number 32. You just go inside your box, pick out bag number 32. You've got everything you need in there. You've got your refrigerated goods bagged up in the fridge ready to go. Honestly, so convenient, I love it. I have just moved us over here, guys, to get ready to cook up a storm. But I did want to let you guys know that HelloFresh have very kindly given me a discount code, which is EmilyBall50. And that'll get you 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes. And you'll also get three free gifts with those. Um, so that's a very generous discount code from HelloFresh. So thank you so much. If you are looking to try it, I would 100% recommend doing it while you've got this discount. Um, it will save you so much money. But yeah, Emily Ball 50 for discount on your next four HelloFresh boxes. I picked up these little lights, guys. How cute do they look? I want to get some for the whole kitchen, but I just thought, you know, little spotlights. <laughs> How exciting. Look at the absolute size of these steaks. I am sorry. These are the biggest steaks I've ever seen. They deserved a moment. Like, I needed to share these with you guys. I'm going to pop you on a little time lapse while I cook up an absolute storm and treat me and Tom to a lovely autumn steak. Um, and then I'll check in. Let's do a taste test. <laughs> Candle and do a cute little cozy, like you know, romantic meal. But that's not us, you know. We like to say. We do sit next to each other at the table. Wait for me. Never wait for me. Oh. Cheers. Oh my goodness. It's like the softest steak I've ever eaten in my life. You did a good job. Mm. Mm. Try a tap. Oh my goodness. They're actually really good. Sorry, food just bit your mouth full. Peppercorn sauce. Bit of parsley. You call it parsley, don't you? That's parsley. You call it parsley. <laughs> I don't. It does. I'm gonna tuck in and enjoy this. That was 
absolutely scrumptious delicious i'm just tidying up the kitchen now but i just wanted to remind you of the discount code which hellofresh has very kindly given me to share with you guys emilyball50 and that'll get you 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes and that includes three gifts can you beat it no you can't hellofresh will be linked down below my description box if you don't take up this opportunity you are missing out become a master chef gordon ramsay so the next part of my evening routine is to have a nice warm cozy bath i'm absolutely loving the radox muscle soak and this dove cream i picked up this candle from m guys how stunning is that i think it was about four pound i am obsessed it matches my towels perfectly um, when i'm in the bath i always love to pop on a film or youtube video and today's youtube video of choice was samantha nicole absolutely obsessed with her at the minute um, it wasn't a hair wash day, but I wanted to share with you guys my favourite shampoo and conditioner. So my all-time favourite is the Joyco Defy Damage. I absolutely love this. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I've also really been loving the Red Ken. As you can see, this one, she is love. Another thing I absolutely love is these bottles that I picked up when we moved in from Etsy. I just feel like they make the shampoo and conditioner look so much neater. I also pop in some lavender drops into the bath just to really chill me out before bed, um, tie my hair up, and then it is bath time. <music> I am now out of the bath and I'm not going to lie guys, I'm sure you can see my hair is very greasy but I really just don't want to wash it today. I would really, really like to save it for tomorrow and obviously you guys know I work from home, I don't go anywhere so washing my hair just isn't a priority. I also train my hair really well um, in terms of like how long I can go without washing it. So this is like day five. Um, and obviously it is looking really greasy, but it does have a lot of oil in it. It's got some blow dry cream in it. It's got a lot in it. So the hair will get washed tomorrow. So I thought tonight I will pop in just a little bit of hair care um, to sort of give it kind of like a mask. Um, hair care wise, I actually get a lot of questions on my hair because I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to have 26 inch blonde bonds in my hair i used to bleach my hair like every six weeks my hair was horrific um until i took the plunge to chop it all off and go brunette and i don't know if you guys remember my hair was literally here so i've actually had a lot of growth however i recently just got some layers cut in now i don't regret the layers um at all i like the look of it and stuff however i just find for me personally my hair doesn't look as healthy anymore now i've had the layers cut in i like my hair being just one big blunt thick length like i don't know if you can see but like do you not think that this bit just looks really quite thin now whereas when it was all one length it just looks so much thicker and healthier also i have just been squeezing my spots which is why my chin is so red so i think i'm gonna opt for getting it blunt cut again and i also did bleach it about two weeks ago because i tried to go copper so my hair has got a load of bleach in it now which is unfortunate as the copper didn't actually work I sort of let go of how well I was caring for my hair and I feel like I really, really do need to get back into it. So I have just ordered some Olaplex. One has already arrived. I picked up number nine, which I've never actually used before. I usually use number six, number seven, um, the shampoo and conditioner, which is four and five. But yeah, I've never used number nine before, so I thought I would give this one a go. But you've got to put this in wet hair. And I do find Olaplex just doesn't work in dry hair. It's really pointless. So... I'll pop that on after I've washed my hair in the morning. Um, but for now, I'm basically just going to smother my hair in this Joyco liquid reconstructor, which honestly, surprised I'm even getting anything out of this. There's really, really not a lot left. Um, all of these products can be used on wet hair as well. But like I said, I'm just basically treating this as a bit of a mask. My hair definitely needs a trim. It needs some TLC. I kind of want to put a brown toner back over it as well because rather than looking like i've got copper hair it sort of looks like i've had brown hair that's just faded and doesn't look right so i think i need to tone it again i'm also going to pop in some of this oil from bread this is just the everyday gloss hair oil now i do actually really like popping this in on my wet hair but again like i said you can put it on wet or dry hair it's just like a shiny oil i like putting product in my hair when it's been washed but i don't like doing too much because i just find it makes my hair really heavy it needs washing more often um you know it just makes it a bit greasier so i do find if i'm gonna take care of my hair the best way to do it is just before hair wash day you know and also like investing in a good shampoo and conditioner rather than 
you know, smothering loads of stuff when you've just got out the shower. I just don't know, I just find it makes my hair really weighted and just not great. But yeah, each of their own. I feel like this is a little bit of a hair care video. I get so many questions about my hair and how I keep it so healthy. So this is a little bit of a vague sip tube because I was going to do like a full dedicated video to my hair because I get questions about it all the time. But like I said, my hair is not in the best condition at the minute. I don't have a strict hair care routine, so I don't think now would be the right time. Maybe if I test out some new products and try and get myself into a proper routine with my hair, I could give you that video. But for now, you're just getting a little mini rundown on what I do. And finally, I'm just going to put in some Grow Gorgeous End Split End Serum. Kind of feels like water, to be honest. So I really do quite like this one because it doesn't make my hair too heavy. Uh, this was from Look Fantastic. I'll try my best to remember to link these products down below for you guys because they are actually really nice and everything smells so good as well. But that is pretty much what I pop in my hair the night before it needs to be washed or sometimes to be fair I'll pop this in in the morning of the day that it's going to be washed if I wake up and think oh my hair needs washing tonight and I'm going somewhere I'll just do a slick back bun with all of these products in. And it sort of hides the fact that it's incredibly greasy. I'm just going to slick this back into a ponytail and go and make a Maltese's hot chocolate. chocolate I'll literally give that a 10 out of 10 presentation skills the only thing that make it better is if I had like a little bit of a chocolate dusting you know like you get in Starbucks wow guys you're really far away Tom can you zoom me in a bit I've got my hot chocolate and I'm on the sofa but you are miles away how do I zoom this in top thing stop that's way too much hello guys what do I look like? <laughs> Cute. Do I look cosy? No. So I've just had my first taste of the Maltese hot chocolate and I'm not going to lie, it's not my favourite. If it did have whipped cream and marshmallows in it, don't, this is supposed to be a nice relaxing <laughs> nighttime routine. Get out, like turn off. Sorry guys, this is making me feel sick. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're coughing the microphone, you know that, oh, right? Perfect. Oh, anyway, if it didn't have cream and marshmallows in it, it wouldn't even be worth worth eating, I can't lie. Um, but I'm going to make it my mission this year to try as many hot chocolates as I possibly can. This is the first one, it's a Maltese one, I've never had it before. Um, would I have it again? You know, if it was the only one in the cupboard, yeah, but I wouldn't buy it again. Um, but this hot chocolate chill mug, anyway, it's from B&M, it was literally like £3.00 just beautiful it's now time to just chill on the tv the hair masks are in had the bar candles lit what else have i done had a nice dinner um and now it's time to just chill i have been watching the watcher on netflix i don't know if any of you have seen it but oh my god if you haven't don't even waste your time everyone started coming for me on tiktok like well, that was the whole this is a spoiler by the way that was the whole point obviously it's an unsolved unsolved case so you're not going to find out what happens who thinks it's a good idea to make a TV show about an unsolved case? Look, that's just the most ridiculous, pointless thing ever. I literally fought the urge to Google what happens a thousand times, and I literally wish more than anything that I just Googled it because it was a waste of seven hours, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so now I need something else to watch. I don't usually watch series. I gave that one a go, and it's just proven to me why I don't watch series. So I don't know what to watch. I might put on a movie. I've been watching Christmas films the past few days. I know it's only October, but I am a Christmas queen and I'd watch them all year round, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, I'm going to sit here with my hot chocolate and find something to watch on the telly before I go to bed. <laughs> now, my eyes. Mm, tired. Off now. <laughs> Oh. Oh. 
Oh, you wanted a card. No, I didn't. You called me up. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Stop acting cool. You called me up here. You're making it a puddle. Put your Halloween suit on. No. Guys, me and Tom have got a Halloween costume. Put it on. In a minute. I did a scam. <laughs> Poke your nose out. Mm, sorry, I had to cut the cameras because Tom was trying on his Halloween outfit and it's a secret surprise. Mm -hmm. This. Sitting all alone in the dark. I Tom thinks he looks like Oliver, isn't he? And we're right then, you'll be mine. We'll be dancing the whole damn night now. Ooh, 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 <clears throat> Not Ollie Mercer. He's got another one. He's got loads of songs. No, but My like... heart skips, 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 yeah, skips, yeah. skips, 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 after a drink there must two. be poison in those faded tips of yours. Zaki coming back again for more. The world trouble, trouble making it. Yeah, it's your middle name. Whoa. Whoa. I know you're no good, but you're stuck in my brain. And I wanna know. Go, Tom. Take it away. Why does it feel so good, but hurts so bad? Whoa. Guys, I think I might end the vlog here to be honest because all I'm going to do is brush my teeth and get into bed. I'm not currently doing any skincare because I've got this like little scabby spot and I just don't want anything to aggravate it or make it any worse. Also, I picked up a new biab, you know. Um, this is a Glossify biab in the shade Stone and it's really pretty. It's like this sort of beigey grey. It's really nice. Um, it's basically like nearly half past nine. This is actually a late night for me. I'm, I'm usually in bed way by now, but you know, tonight's a little bit of a different night. Um, I'm going to brush my teeth and pop some YouTube on, get into bed. Tom will probably be tickling my back. Do I get a back tickle tonight? Nah. Why? Because it's my turn. When do you ever have a turn? Not today. You're not having one today. YouTube on and go to sleep. Usually I'll fall asleep at about between like half 10 and half 11. Half 11 is a late, late, late night for me. Um, half 10 is like average. Yeah, I basically just watch YouTube until I go to sleep. Hope you guys have enjoyed spending the night with me. I don't feel like I've really done much, but this is just like a really chilled evening in my life. Sometimes I go out, sometimes I don't. Sometimes we get a takeaway. Obviously, we had Hello Fresh. Um, sometimes I've got loads of housework and stuff to do. Sometimes I don't. Just depends how the day's gone, really. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. The link to HelloFresh will be down in the description box below. Don't forget to use my discount code at checkout to save yourself so much money on your food. Um, but yeah, I will see you very soon for another video. Ciao! Better, saying I'm blue, do it on the skyline.